Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel, It's a Hardback Life. Today, I'm going to be bringing you my reading update. This is something I've been doing the last few months or so. And it's usually been towards the end of the month. And I'm going to continue with that trend here. It's March 24th. And what's going to be happening is I'm going to share with you uh, the amount of books I've read for the month so far, and then also the books that I'm going to focus on in the last week of the month. And don't worry, there's not that many, because I'm not a crazy person. Um, but anyway, you guys, without further ado, let's get into it. So for the month of March so far, I have read six books and uh i'm not going to share them all with you right now uh i will share them with you on my march wrap up which i will film in a few days um from now because i want to do that towards the end of the month and also give myself some time to think about my april tbr but yeah so um I read six books so far, and that's pretty much what I have done. Like, that's the most I've ever done in a month, which is awesome for me. Reading, yeah, well, reading five books is like an average of what I've been known to do a month. But six books is even better, and I hope to make it seven or eight so at least get two more books out of the way. So let's hope for that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to share with you guys the previous book that I just finished. Uh, two days ago, I think. It was the day, it was my, yeah, the day before yesterday. I finished... Charlie Bone and the Time Twister, which is the second book... In the middle grade fantasy series called Children of the Red King. Now this is about a series about a boy named Charlie. A boy named... This series is about a boy named Charlie Bone. Who has the ability to not only hear what people are saying in photographs. He can communicate with people in those photographs. And... Later on, we find out more of an advancement that his power can have. And it's very unique. Um, it's, it's like Harry Potter in the sense that he attends a academy for gifted children. And it's not just um, children with abilities. It's human children as well who possess the... Um, um, talents of, you know, musical, um, or, uh, playing instruments or art or like, you know, acting or any of that kind of thing, or just like who are highly intelligent. Um, that's the kinds of students other than magical students that the school takes and the school's called Bloor's Academy. And each book focuses on a different storyline, but the previous storyline kind of carries over a little bit from the last book. And it's just such a fun time. The first book was pretty good. The second book, this is book two, is even better. And I think originally when I started reading this series when I was a kid, I got up to book three. I don't think the series was completely done when I was a kid because there was eight books. There's eight books total um, now. So, yeah, um, it's a great it was a great time. And I have I think I'm going to read book three next month just to continue. And I still have to collect the rest of the series. I think I'm missing books. Six and eight. Um, it's been kind of hard to find them. So let's hope I can do that. <laughs> but 
before I get to those numbers. Anyway, this is Charlie Bull and the Time Twister. I will talk about it more on my in my reading wrap up for Mark. All right, let's get to the books that I plan on focusing on for the rest of the month. Okay, now this is going to be a stretch, but I would love to finish this book towards the end of the month. And I feel like that means I have to read at least a hundred or more pages a day because this book is a chunker. And that book is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, the first book in the Will of Time series. I like this book. I just obviously I haven't really gotten far. I've gotten to page 220. And I just need to get my butt in gear and finish this book. I've been reading this since December. So that tells you how long I've been reading this book. And I need to focus on it. So here's hoping that I can at least attempt to finish this book by the end of March. If not March, then by April. Hey, you guys. Okay, you guys. This next book... I have been dying to read, and I just started it on Tuesday. I haven't gotten super far on it because I started it late Tuesday night, and then just finding time to read has been somewhat difficult because I work about eight hours a day in a different location, and I do have breaks, but even with my breaks, I have fellow employees that come in to the break room and like to talk to me when I'm trying to read. And it sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I and I when I'm at home by myself, I try to get as much reading done before I go to bed. <laughs> but anyway, that book is Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan. I've had this book since last year. I've been Wanting to read it so bad. Especially because Trinity keeps talking it up. And the whole series. So. I thought I'd give it a go. And I'm finally getting a chance. Um, let me read you guys some of the synopsis. So you know what it's about. Throughout the vast lands. Controlled by the Iron Ship Trading Syndicate. Nothing is more prized than the blood of Drake's which can bestow fearsome powers on the rare blood blessed. But not many know of, know the truth, that the lines of Drakes are weakening. If they fail, war with the neighboring Corventine Empire will follow swiftly. So the Syndicate's last hope resides in whispers of the existence of another far more powerful breed of Drake and the few who have been chosen by fate to seek it. A petty thief... An unregistered bloodlust, a formidable spy and an and assassin, and the second lieutenant of an iron ship cruiser. As lives and empires clash and intertwine, as the unknown and the known collide, all three must fight to turn the tide of a coming war or drown in its wake. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I've been reading, I'm on chapter two, so I haven't gotten very far, but it's already gotten so good, you guys, like, I am shocked, but at the same time, I'm not shocked, because Trinity has recommended books to me, and I've also recommended some books to her, and we've each, we've each, I don't know, really enjoyed each other's book picks, so... I'm really, really looking forward to finishing this book. Hopefully I get it done before the end of the month so that I can talk about it on here and also talk to Trinity about it and then go forward with the rest of the series because it's a trilogy. This next one I'm going to talk about is a buddy read on my friend Kisty's Discord, and that is... A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. 
I actually just bought the sequel. I forget the name of it. Um, book two in the series. It's a trilogy. Um, and the series is called the All Souls, All Souls Trilogy. It's a TV series as well. So I plan on um, reading along on this buddy read for, with all three books for the next two months. Because we're reading this one this month. And then the other two in April and May. And then I want to watch the series because the series is on its fourth and final season. But yeah, this is about witches, so I'm sold because I love reading about witches. And I think this has some sort of um, historical uh, fiction um, kind of stuff in it as well as obviously fantasy. Or something, because it was in like the regular fiction section, so I don't know. But it sounds really good um, from what I read in the synopsis just a second ago. <laughs> Can't wait to read it. All right, and the last book that I'm going to mention is Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. Now, I. Don't think I'm going to finish this. Well, okay. I was planning on restarting this because I never finished it. And I was super confused when reading this the first time, sometime last year. But I'm going to give it another go. I might just end up pushing this to April. And this will be probably the first book I read in April so that I can eventually determine if I'm going to get the second book. I probably will get the second book because I probably will end up liking this. But, uh, yeah, the first, the second book comes out April 12th, I believe. So I'm hopefully going to finish this book first in the month of April and then get the second book and then read that immediately. And this is a book about, um, that's um, inspired by um, Norse mythology which is Vikings and all that. Um, and John Gwynn's responsible for also the Faithful and the Fallen uh, Quartet. This is the Blood Sworn Trilogy, I think is what it's called, right? Um, yes. Uh, the uh, Blood Sworn. And it's going to be a trilogy. So book one came out last year. Book two comes out this year. And book three is probably going to come out in 2023. Um, all right, you guys, that is all the books that I have for you today that I plan on reading for the rest of the month, or at least books I'm going to mention. Um, yeah, but also I want to mention to you guys that April will also be my two year anniversary on book two. April 20th is when I started my channel because I start I started my channel originally because I was on it was during the shutdown two years ago my work closed down and so I was literally at home <laughs> doing nothing except reading and so I was like you know what I'm gonna start a channel and here I am, almost two years later, and I am so happy that I'm still around doing this for y'all and for myself, because it's been so much fun, and I hope to reach some of you that I have not reached before. So, um, please give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, that would mean so much to me, and that would also... Um, get you guys plugged into more content um, when I release it. And also, don't, hes don't hesitate to share this video with your friends. And, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.